here's a demo of Scrippy writing out his favorite word, yes. So step one is we need a way to position our pencil tip on an XY plane, that's our page. I've achieved this by rotating the pencil on a gimbal about two perpendicular axes. The problem with this is that the tip of the pencil will move in an arc rather than in a straight line. So that will cause it to go through the page. We get around this problem by allowing the pencil to slide up and down within that gimbal freely. The next step was how do I actuate the rotation of that gimbal? So I have used strings around constant radius drums on each axis so that each degree that the head rotates always corresponds with the same amount of string wound on or off the drum. That means when I pull the string a certain distance, I'll always get the same amount of rotation of the head. There's one string on the nod your head yes axis, and another string on the shake your head no axis. Since strings can only pull and not push, we need a rubber band. And this rubber band pulls Scrippy's head back to the position where the strings are wound fully onto the drums. This is actually a, a clear dental rubber band. These strings are then tied to levers so that when we pull the levers we can either nod or shake Scrippy's head and move the tip of the pencil in the X or Y positions. I needed a way to control these levers. I could sit here and manually pull the levers to draw pictures but we need Scrippy to have a memory so instead these levers have cam followers attached to them so that the radial length of the cam will determine how far the lever gets pushed. I got away with having only one cam by having each half of the cam dedicated to controlling each of the two levers. So next I needed a way to get the shape of the cam profile. So what radius did I need in order to get the tip of the pencil to be at the position that I wanted? So if I want to move the tip of the pencil so far in the X direction, I need to know how many degrees must Scrippy's head turn to achieve that. And then I need to know how much string do I need to pull off the drum to make Scrippy's head turn that many degrees. And then I need to know how many degrees must I rotate the lever to pull off that much string. And then I need to know how far must I push the cam follower to make the lever turn that many degrees. And that will be the radius. That change in distance of the cam follower will be the change in radius of our cam. I wrote a simple computer program to do those calculations for us. We can simply draw a picture or a word on the computer screen. And then our program chops that sketch up into discrete contiguous XY coordinates and then it calculates the corresponding cam radius for each XY coordinate. It then spreads those out around our cam in the same contiguous order. So that generates a cam profile as a vector file that we can then print out and trace and cut out by hand or we could put that into a laser cutter. And Scrippy as a kit comes with cams that make him write the word yes, but he also comes with some blank cams and this software so you can make him write your own short words or sketches that you desire. And of course we also need a way to make Scrippy move, so uh, you can either move him by turning this handle, or in this case there's actually an electric motor and a battery, but that doesn't come with the kit. Alright, I hope that made some sense. 
If you're stuck at home looking for something to do, you might like to make a scrippy of your own. You can order them on my website, uh, link in the show notes below. And that comes with all of the parts that you need to assemble a scrippy of your own and the computer software to make the cam profiles as well. Or if you would like to design a writing machine of your own or you already have, then I'd really like to see it. Just uh, leave a, a video or a photo in the comments of this video on the Contraption Cart Facebook page. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe, and see you soon. Contraptioncart.com